Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. We're looking at another one now from Wild Horse Brewing Co. Uh, and the one we are looking at is, this is one of their latest sort of releases. And it's a can of Now. Now you look at that and it says N-A-W. So you kind of think Nor, but it's actually pronounced Now. This is a West Coast IPA coming in at 5.8%. And it cost me a little bit less than what it actually is online. If you buy a single can, it's £4.35. I bought a box of 12 different beers. I got 10% off. So this is actually coming at just under £4. It's a 440ml can. And it looks beautiful on the artwork. I sounded a bit lost then. I'm going to try and make this a quick one because I am waffling way too much. Uh, but yeah, West Coast IPA, just under four quid, just over, well, £4.35 if you buy it individually. So it's going to be interesting to see what this is like. So uh, let's try and give you some of the spiel on the back. Nor pronounced now Welsh for nine. It's a new one-off beer brewed to celebrate our ninth birthday. This lean and bitter West Coast IPA showcases classic citrus pine hop character alongside modern tropical fruit hope, fruit notes. Uh, so yeah, beautiful artwork as usual, like I say. So let's get this cracked open. Try and get a quick review done. It's going in the Wild Horse Brewing Co. glass. So let's get it cracked and see what we get. Now, I am intrigued with this because I've had some good West Coasts and you've paid a bit more for them. I've had some dud ones and you've paid a bit less for them. Probably one of the best ones I have had, believe it or not. Obviously, you got the Oregon Trail uh, from Elusive. But one of the best ones is Lakes Bruco, 5.6%. Now, West Coast, you'd, you'd be looking at sort of 6% upwards. I would say really uh, for a true reflection of the style 5.8 it's not far off it but coming in at £4.35 I'm not sure what Lakes Bruco one was that was actually £3.75 so that was a really good price but some of them have been slightly overpriced I would say with a lower ABV or you're paying a lot more for it so this is why I'm intrigued by this one so there we go and ironically enough the videos I've done, it's always looked darker on the screen. It's now looking lighter on the screen and darker on my side, but probably you are getting a true reflection if I had the light on my side. Hazy little number, looking very much West Coast. Uh, a little bit of a head on it. There is some more in the can, but it's nice and compact. Looks good, not really seeing any bubbles go up. So, let's give it a sniff and see what we get. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's definitely got the way. I haven't cleaned my glass out. I actually had a West Coast Pilsner before before this. So, it, it I knew it was never really going to change the beer too much. That review will be coming up. But yeah, it's citrus. It's definitely got that sort of... There's almost like a little mustiness there, hoppy mustiness. Grapefruit resinous. It does smell West Coast, so I can't knock it for that. We'll give the can a little bit of a swirl. This beer may well change as we get down it. But for now, let's dive in on Wild Horse Brewing Co's now, which is Welsh for nine. West Coast IPA, 5.8%. Cheers. Oh yeah. But, but. Right. <laughs> I'll get to the butt bit after. And I'm going to try and be quick with this for you, but we're four minutes in, so I'm fucked already. Mm. 
5.8%. West Coast IPA. I don't tend to find them really sort of heavy. Uh, they tend to have that nice drinking body, which isn't heavy, nor is it wishy-washy or light or anything. They just tend to be easy drinking bodies. This has got that easy drinking body for me. Carbonation, bang on. Really, really small bubbles. I mean, we're talking micro bubbles, if you like. Uh, you do get just that gentle fizz across the palate. It's enough there to sort of give the beer that little bit of life and bring them flavours to life as well, but they don't interfere with the mouthfeel or nothing. Beautiful mouthfeel. I mean, as you drink that, the bubbles, the mouthfeel, the flavours all work together. They all work as one. On the taste, it hits you with citrus, orange to start off with for me. It's there's a lot of orange in sort of West Coasts. But up to, you know, these breweries like to get that sort of orange citrus note in. For me, West Coast is all pine and grapefruit. This has that to a certain extent, but you're hit with the citrus side of it to start off with. I'm going to top the glass up a little bit more. I couldn't do a slow, re a quick review if I tried, could I? So we're going again. Yeah, again, once you fill that beer up and you get a good head on it, the, bo the body, the mouthfeel, everything sort of changes a little bit. So yeah, citrus, a little bit of resinous in there, a little bit of a, a slick feel. Certainly when you get the rest of it in there. I mean, the back end of this is full on West Coast for me. The start of it, you sort of get a malty backbone to it. You get the citrus notes. It almost starts off as a traditional West Coast. And then... As it lingers on, the resinous comes in. That little bit of, and I, I'm gonna say grapefruit, you do get that sort of grapefruit bitterness lingering in the background and that lingers on a bit. <clears throat> Pardon me. This beer gets better as you drink it. But is it up there with some of the best ones I've had? Well, it's certainly better than the Camden IPA that likes to say it's a West Coast. <coughs> oh, pardon me. 5.8% is absolutely nowhere. That's a cheeky little number, that. That is dangerous on the ABV because it drinks really well. Yeah, I don't think you get... The more bitter a beer is, you don't tend to get the cleanness and crispness for me, personally. So, so yeah, <laughs> where was I going with that? I don't know. Uh, see, yeah, see, it's drinkable, but you don't get that cleanness and crispness from a West Coast or with that bitterness for me. But it is very drinkable anyway. It's a little dangerous number at 5.8%. You can certainly drink it easy. You, you wouldn't be chucking it down your neck because it would catch up with you. That bitterness would sort of slow you down a bit. And I do think the actual weight of the beer would catch up with you. I think the easy way to, to summarise this beer up is starts off traditional. The more you drink and the longer it lingers, you start getting more 
West Coast craft style, if you like. So I think they've done a really good job. It's not the best West Coast I've had, I don't think, personally. Uh, but what they have done, they I, I think with the front of the beer, they've made it traditional, if you like, a bit. Well, I say a bit. They, they've made it sort of traditional sort of flavours that hit you at the start. And then it, it casually goes into this sort of like modern sort of flavour. Uh, but yeah, it's it's still a very decent beer, I've got to say. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to waffle on anymore. I've still gone over 10 minutes. Wild Horse Brewing Co's and they're now, which is Welsh for nine. And it says nor, but it's pronounced now. Uh, Welsh for nine is a great beer, great beer. Don't expect full on craft. Expect to be baffled a bit by it. Expect to maybe be disappointed at the start and then think, ooh, depending on what sort of beer you like. But yeah, I think that's a great beer. Uh, £4.35. Yeah. I think it's worth it. I got that direct from the brewery. £4.35 individually. I bought a 12 pack of beers coming at just under four quid. That's better than anything in the supermarket or certainly up there with anything in the supermarket, West Coast style. So yeah, North Wales coast, if you're up there uh, or inland, did know, go and buy some stuff from them. Great brewery, gets a thumbs up from me. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment and I'll see you again soon on another one. And hopefully I might do it in six minutes.